माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई फ्रेगरेंस चैनल एंड अदर फ्रेगरेंस चैनल इज गोइंग टू बी नोन एज द परफ्यूम चैनल इट्स नॉट एक्जॉटिक सेंस एनी मोर आई डोंट नो वाई आई जस्ट टुक अ रैंडम डिसीजन जस्ट लाइक दैट एंड हेयर वी आर एनी वे दैट्स दैट्स नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेगरेंसेज विथ मी हेयर टूडे विच आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट ऑफकोर्स दिस इज नो पर्टिकुलर परफ्यूम रिव्यू यू विल गेट टू सी अ लॉट ऑफ परफ्यूम्स एंड अदर परफ्यूम मटीरियल्स इन टूडेज वीडियो fragrance related materials which i love which i have discovered and uh, things which i have rediscovered all right scents which were just sitting uh, at the back of my cupboard and i never used to talk about those so there are some of those fragrances which i really want to stress upon some of these are very very interesting so i thought i'll just do a casual video you know one of those videos which uh, you guys enjoy most and i enjoy doing most because um, you know i just go with the flow naturally so let's begin with something interesting you know, something interesting so guys the first thing that i want to talk about is uh about keels original musk this is a classic all right this this is sold all over the world so most people will relate to this brand keels original musk uh is this perfume that i want to talk about this is a very very special perfume and musk i was addicted to musk since i uh, you know i've been a little kid um it, there's something about musk which really interested me i got a chance to sniff real musk actually when i was a kid and uh, since then i've never forgotten the smell of it it was very unique and i used to love fragrances since a kid um since being a kid i have worn fragrances all sorts of fragrances and uh, when i was in my teenage years uh to my college i used to wear azaro's uh, purum the classic and um, i have definitely a mature taste and then there was a stage in life and i used to wear uh, in my late teens i used to wear a lot of uh, chanel perfumes uh, a lot of these um, uh, perfumes popular perfumes like chanel alorum sport and then uh, i had that um, beautiful perfume uh, from yes dior dior diorum sport and uh, diorum sport and stuff like that so there are a lot of fragrances from david off uh isimiyaki and all those fragrances were always in rotation and then i got bored of those of course i was always looking for something something special and i don't know how i stumbled upon uh this beautiful perfume from the house of tom ford which is known as tuscan leather and my journey into uh the real world of perfume started i would say and um to each of us um perfumes matter a lot of course this is a fragrance heads channel and uh, all of you are fragrance heads i know uh, some of of you may be new uh, which i don't really think because someone who's new to fragrances will directly jump on to jump on to designer fragrances and you won't find much of these designer fragrances on my channel as of now but i have plans of changing that so i'll be talking about a lot of designer fragrances in future because those are easy to break down and i think there's is a wider audience you know niche means niche so you have a smaller audience smaller demographics of uh, stuff like this the demographics definitely shows this that the niche market is very very small and uh, it's very obvious yet i've been able to connect with so many souls all over the world who love perfumes this is just special this feeling is just special and i want to give you the most beautiful and the most genuine authentic olfactory experiences to the best of my ability english is not my primary language so some may find my accent a bit weird but you'll have to you know adjust to it guys i really can't change anything about it and some of you may find uh, uh, my opinion uh, my opinions about perfumes strong uh, and a bit offensive at times sometimes i really cross the boundaries i i really get perturbed i get disturbed and i then uh, you know i just become real that's that's how i am i i just talk like a real person when i'm talking about fragrances because this thing is very very close to my heart guys and uh, i spend my free time with my fragrances it is just so special my perfume routine for every day is as soon as i get up i take a little green tea or coffee whatever it is but i always burn an oud chip first so a real agar wood chip is placed on my specialized in sensita and i just keep it here this is my uh, perfume room basically all right it's here all right so this and you can already see the chip which i burned this is rare uh, agarwood from philippines rare wild agarwood someone gifted it to me and uh, 
I burnt it. Every agarwood uh, species smells different and this one was special. So my day started with this and then I take a wash with something special. So I use stuff like Lavan from the house of L'Occitane. This is a lavender based gel wash. Now Provence, the company's name is L'Occitane or Provence. Basically Provence in France is the region where they grow a lot of lavender the French lavender and I love French lavender of course the dry variety the dry variety of French lavender is just so amazing it smells very refreshing it's uplifting very very uplifting in fact instantly uplifting it's just like taking a sniff from freshly brewed coffee something like that all right so this is a special special uh, uh, perfume based product a fragrant product from the house of L'Occitane or Provence just in case you get a chance to smell this or get ho a hold of this the, they have a hand wash they have uh, this gel wash body wash and it smells beautiful beautiful this is the best the most natural smelling lavender in fact to some 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 people's nose this may come across as a completely new sort of lavender this is genuine lavender the most beautiful the most amazing and um, I rotate this gel wash with something like this my favorite soap in the world this is the government owned company which is known as Mysore uh, 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 Mysore Sandal My Mysore Sandal is basically not the company's name it is geotagged property of the Indian government all right Mysore Sandal can only be uh, some the sandalwood uh, grown in the Mysore region can only be tagged as Mysore sandalwood anything any other sandalwood from uh, any of the other regions a lot of other countries grow sandalwood including Australia um, there's um, uh, this Osiris Osiris wood I believe from Africa which is known as black uh, African sandalwood something like that that's also called as sandalwood there's a lot of uh, sandalwood in um, the other parts of India, of course, the plantations which came up in 1970s, it was a government-led initiative and there, there are a lot of uh, other countries in Southeast Asia where they grow sandalwood, Thailand, Indonesia, they have a lot of sandalwood trees, but nothing comes close to the, the original, you know, the pioneer Mysore sandalwood. So I use the Mysore sandalwood soap, but this particular soap, which you can see, this is known as centennial version you can see the 100 year mark here so on their 100th anniversary the government um, uh, company which makes these soaps in india they released a beautiful version the most amazing version of their classical uh, mysore sandal soap i use this and mysore classic uh, sandal soap is my everyday go-to and this is how it looks so anyone who's used to it and guys, why am I talking about this legendary soap? Because many people across the globe wear this. I mean, use this soap, all right? This is a very, very popular soap since World War I, World War II. People in Germany, people in the UK, Europe especially, they would know about Mysore sandalwood soap from KSTL, the Indian government uh, uh, company, which owns uh, Mysore sandal soap now, which makes... This is the only soap in the world, or uh, there may be other soaps, but this is the only soap which uses actual Mysore sandalwood oil from their old stocks. And this soap is special because they used the oldest stock of Mysore sandalwood that they had. All right. And it also smells of ambergris. This was released in the year 2000, th two, two, 2016, I believe. Yes, 2016. So they completed their 100 years and they released this one and this soap was also priced at 100 rupees which is in 100 rupees uh, less than two dollars two us dollars for comparison just for comparison sake so this soap smells of brown ambergris sandalwood and so many other things it is one of the best uh, soaps that you can find out there in the market in the world probably and it's very very rare it's stocked out it's gone they only released a limited batch of this for about a year the people who were lucky found this some never found this even you know even if you try really really hard to find the soap you won't find it in the market there is a person who has a stock of this he's also a lover of 
uh, Maestro Sandalwood. I'll just share his link down so you can contact him for the soap just in case you need this. This is the most amazing natural sandalwood containing soap. Sandalwood has a lot of properties, helpful properties for the skin. So this is in my rotation. So coming back to Kiel's original mask, I recently found this. I mean, I bought this. I, I was... I always used to love its smell, but somehow I could never convince myself to get um, uh, a bottle. So I just went to the mall this time and I got it from my recent travels. So what's so special about this? Of course, the most special thing here is nostalgia. People get nostalgic when they hear the word musk. Even if they don't know about actual dear musk, you may need a bottle of this Inverno Russo, but it's almost gone. You can find uh, decants and samples on base notes. There, this, there's this user known as Strife Not. You can get it from him, uh, her. I don't know it's, if it's a him or a her, but uh, he or she has a lot of samples or decants of this stuff still, to, just in case you are interested. Arish Ladores Inverno Russo. This is the real smell of musk, actual dear musk. You will know what musk smells like only when you've sniffed a real musk fragrance. Forget about all those Serge Luton bottles. Forget about all those Roja Dove's musks. They are all synthetic. Nobody is allowed to use natural musk. The only company in the world using actual deer musk now in their perfumes. Spray form, alright? Glorious. This is so bloody glorious opens up with a full bodied musk all right so you see the difference when i'm sniffing thing when i'm uh, sniffing the scent of this bottle i just want to keep it here and keep sniffing it that's the beauty of natural perfume materials keel's original musk of course this must have been formulated reformulated sorry but i'm pretty sure even it, even in its most original form this this may not have been original deer musk let's see when this perfume was released all right this perfume was created in the 1920s mm -hmm. in new york all right that means this could be real all right because uh, synthetic musks came into fashion in late uh, 50s i believe 40s 50s 60s 60s 70s uh, synthetic musk become really popular with perfume houses and since then uh, people are used to synthetic musks all right people people consider the synthetic musks as standard dear musk of course uh, it's it's very rare for people to come across such genuine exotic oriental scents right so it's not your fault it not it's not the buyer's fault but when you compare the scent to Inverna Russo, it's just useless, you know. There is this beautiful, soft, fluffy sort of thing here, which is sweet, which is a bit animalic, I would say. But it's not dirty in any way. I don't know why am I using the word animalic. But there's this strange sweetness, this sensual sweetness, which musk is popular for. Especially in the synthetic musks, you only get the clean part of the musk. The beautiful, powdery, sweet, slightly vanilla tinged, bitter vanilla tinged, uh, you know, fluffiness which is known as a musk. I get that feeling. I get hints of lavender and citruses at the top, which is very, very beautiful and very simple. It, it's like a comfort scent for mature gentlemen. This is what it is. And I think it's a pretty special scent uh, just because it brings the nostalgia of musk back um, to someone's life. And uh, the best part about such fragrances is that it's very, very safe to be worn outside uh, with people who are not, you know, uh, equally enthusiastic fragrance heads. And uh, you can also wear it to office. So this is a musk scent for office. Clean, crisp. There are some other elements involved. And this could be a signature scent for someone above 30. Because um, uh, it is a good scent. Uh, the quality is really nice. There's nothing really synthetic about it. I mean, you don't feel that you're getting whiffs of uh, something uh, harshly chemical in here all right uh, you don't get those whiffs. it's not like a fucking nuclear reactor all right it's it's not like a chemical uh, ex chem chemical 
reaction gone wrong. It's not one of those scents which will sink you, all right? Which will sink you. This is an uplifting sort of scent. So it's very decent for the price. Costs about uh, three thousand rupees maybe in the Indian market. Two thousand, three thousand rupees. It's not mentioned on the packet, but it was there. The price was there on the outer plastic shell, which they have, which they had on this. Anyway, it dries down to uh, something which is reminiscent of brutes. Uh, deodorants, brute, the classical brute aftershave, men's aftershave, a uh, clean, crisp, you know, it's it's a very uh, refreshing, uplifting sort of smell. So this is what it is, and I just got a bottle for myself. I don't know why, but I think for the price, this soapy, clean affair is very very decent. Uh, it is for old timers, and um, I think the lovers of musk. Synthetic musk will absolutely enjoy this, and even those people who are on a budget. I mean, come on, this is very, very affordable. You can't compare it to something like Inverno Russo, which costs about above two hundred US dollars. All right. Uh, so, for those who need an alternative, you will enjoy this. All right. Let's talk about another fragrance that I got recently. I got this for my wife, and I think we both can use it. This is Tom Ford's not so talked about Santal Blush. Now the first thing that struck me about this fragrance when I sprayed it, I was just going through the whole. Uh, this is how the bottle looks. I love how unique this looks like. I mean, how unique this is. The very simple, uh, transparent presentation, as opposed to the black ones or the blue ones. Guys, this really the opening really struck me. You know, the opening really, really impressed me because it felt like I'm sniffing actual Mysore sandalwood. I don't know what they've done with this fragrance, but that opening is beautiful. It's it's exactly like the limey, uh, incensey part of uh, Mysore sandalwood. It's just just so fantastic. I have a lot of Mysore sandalwood oils with me. I have uh, old oils which you know uh, are from 1980s. They've become thick, beautiful, very very rare government distilled uh, Mysore sandalwood oil which of course you don't find anywhere now what you get is basically plantation oils plantation sandalwood oils which are maybe 20 years old 30 years old but when the factory was um, releasing authentic Mysore sandalwood oils those those huge blocks of wood those trees uh, used to be 100 100 years old 80 years old 60 years old and as the sandalwood tree ages, it gets a lot of, it produces a lot of oil and it becomes more and more fragrant. That's how sandalwood trees are and that's, that's what actually uh, contributes to the smell of the oil. So when I first sprayed this fragrance, I got this whiffs of actual sandalwood oil and I, you know, I just closed my eyes for a moment and I kept sniffing the paper, I think this tester beautiful this opening is definitely Mysore sandalwood but only the opening and then you get uh, the spicy almost peppery sort of thing in here mixed in with a little amber all right and this amber is like a, a musty labdanum sort of affair all right it's it's got this mustiness but in the background you can you can you can feel the bubble of the Mysore sandalwood. I don't know how Tom Ford has managed to pull off this one. Yes, I remember very well the fragrance known as Amber Absolute, which is probably their masterpiece. It is kind of similar, all right, but it's the most, uh, it is the lightest version of something as dark, rich, and potent as Tom Ford's Amber Absolute. This, this is the lightest version of that, all right. It's almost the same thing. It was a beautiful amber fragrance where you got a deep dark musty resinous labdanum and then in the dry down it has beautiful sandalwood uh, red dry spicy variety which is your aged Mysore sandalwood this gives me the feeling of that I'm really sorry guys this video might get a little a little longer than what I had anticipated but uh, guys this is just casual fragrance talk and those who are actually interested in fragrance will be able to feel uh, this thing there's also something 
flowery in here which is a bit strange something like I don't know something like geranium not really sure what that is spicy peppery there's something ge geranium like or probably it's 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 the perfume test of playing tricks with my nose but it's a very gentle fragrance guys just just it, it, it's a very good representation of actual mysore sandalwood effect it's supposed to be sensual it's supposed to be close to your skin it's supposed to be intimate it should seduce you when you are uh, near someone who's wearing pure mysore sandalwood all right it it is it is this creamy sweetness that just that just smells gorgeous it smells extraordinarily beautiful it is just amazing so this is something which i got recently and my god i'm in love with it, it it's such a such a beautiful fragrance to have all the ladies all the classy ladies who enjoy luxurious fragrances this is the bloody definition of a luxurious fragrance from the house of tom ford who else i mean we have to give credit to that guy for bringing us tuscan leather which was my first experience with niche perfumery and i still love that perfume with all my heart then you get stuff like um uh, uh cafe rose you get stuff like uh, tobacco oud and then you have santal blush and there's so many others from tom ford grey vetiver Uh, such a classic vetiver fragrance this is gorgeous stuff guys trust me this is the most natural smelling sandalwood fragrance on the planet and we are not talking about australian sandalwood something which you get with tamdao all right i used to consider consider this as the best sandalwood fragrance in the market this is the eau de parfum version the eau de rollet version uh comes with a transparent side all right this is painted on the sides this is the odi toilet version and tamdao all right this has african uh, uh this has australian sandalwood australian sandalwood is not the original santalum album species of mysore australian sandalwood has been used in the industry for a long long time now probably industry is best one of the best you know one of the most well kept secrets australian sandalwood does not does not raise a candle to mysore sandalwood it cannot match the richness the exotic feel of the texture of mysore sandalwood that's why the world was crazy about mysore sandalwood i still use the mysore sandalwood soap for the same reason this smells green it smells a bit cedar like that's the quality of australian sandalwood it does not have any butteriness which is um classic of mysore sandalwood it does not possess the butteriness the heaviness all right does not have the oiliness uh, of mysore sandalwood it's dry cedar like almond jane man you get something like this tamdao you get uh um, the same sandalwood ajmal's very popular hatkora wood fragrance is extremely close to this in fact let's just say it is a more concentrated highly concentrated version of this thing it's got uh the dryness or the smell of pencil shavings it's, it's got that metallic dry lead pencil lead like uh, uh shaving like uh, smell and it's a good fragrance to have the eau de parfum version lasts a very long time but this is not the best sandalwood fragrance in the world this is santal blush that's why it's called blush very apt name look at the color look at that color all right this is the best sandalwood fragrance you can still get grab it pick up a bottle of this because this is a bottle of history I don't know if Tom Ford's uh Tom Ford is playing with our noses but this has got to be the best sandalwood fragrance. It it might just have a drop or two of the real Mysore sandalwood. All right guys, my nose does not cheat me in any way. 
Mysore sandalwood is Mysore sandalwood. Period. All right, let's get to another fragrance. So this has been one of my best purchases of this year. I don't know why I decided to buy this fragrance after such a long time. Let's get to a fragrance which I never loved, but I'm loving it a lot now. It's known as Crete Virgin Island Water. I don't know why it felt very soapy, chemical-like to my nose. And now, I love this fragrance. I have a small decant here with me. It's got a very limey sort of tone. It's got a it's got a beautiful limey lemon sort of tone, which is probably one of the most unique top notes that I've sniffed in a scent. Beautiful composition, such an uplifting composition. It's light, it's crisp, it's uplifting. I need a bottle of this. I would need a bottle of this. I don't want to miss out on the genius of this scent. It is supposed to smell like pina colada and it actually does. And uh, it's a, but in no way this could be called as a gourmand scent. I get soft, wet vanilla accord here, almost as humidifying as uh, natural ambergris. There's this beautiful soft signature musk of Creed in here. You get the same thing with uh, the base of Creed's Melissa Imperial, Aventus, Avantus, Green Irish Tweed, Irolfa, Royal Water. It's This fragrance has got something, has borrowed the lemony aspect of Creed's Royal Water, which I have and I love. It's It's got a little bit of that oak mossy thing it's got a beautiful lemon popsicle sort of vibe. All right, that may be a little irritating to someone who's not used to such fragrances. It's got a beautiful, almost like verbena lemon. Yes, it's, it's, it's quite like verbena lemons. If you've had the chance of sniffing a natural verbena lemon fragrance, you would know what I'm talking about. It's almost gourmandy. All right, it, it, it goes in the gourmand direction. Beautiful stuff, very uplifting. I used to hate this chemical mess. I used to think this is a, a, a disaster and I really didn't understand the hype around it but I think this is the perfect summer fragrance summer, um, or, or a fragrance that you'd wear to a beach. You'd wear this fragrance outside when you're just wearing a cotton shirt with, uh, with buttons of course and um, or a linen shirt and it's a hot sunny day. You go out with your with your friends. You want to wear something easy, all right, which is which is which is not too demanding on the nose and which is not too um, uh, cloying, all right. You don't want to wear something with exotic ingredients, something with heavy oriental stuff like musk or or deep gourmand nutty vanilla sort of thing. This is this is dry vanilla. You've got citruses, everything in a very very fine gentle uh, balance beautiful and I don't know the history of the house of Creed but god damn it they make the best summer colognes ever there are a lot of reviewers talking about a lot of fragrances I own n number of summer scents n number of summer scents I don't know I, how many I own I've got beautiful fragrances of course decans from the house of royal uh, royal crown perfumes there are two beautiful fragrances here summer fragrances which I want to talk about then we have the beautiful summer fragrance, the latest release from the house of Roger. This is Roger's Elysium. It's it, it's getting better and better. Definitely Dior Sauvage, Creed Aventus vibes, but the quality of this. This is how Dior Sauvage should have smelled like. Of course, not for the price, but God damn it. This just beats Dior Sauvage, Sauvage's ass. This stuff is really great. If you need compliments, if you need a thick summer fragrance, this will do the job. But if you want something uh, really light, something really classy, clean, soft, gentle, with natural tones, Virgin Island Water. Absolutely phenomenal release from the House of Creed. Of course, the people who are not used to high quality fragrances may not be able to understand the beauty of this fragrance at first but eventually eventually they'll get there they will, they will understand what this fragrance is all about all right the next two fragrances 
from Royal Crown Perfumes. Let's talk about the first one, Celebration. One of the best summer fragrances that niche fragrance head fragrance heads could buy. This is one of the most phenomenal summer scents. Period. This is fabulous. I want to get a bottle of this, but it is so bloody popular that it's already sold out in the market. It's not found anymore, and I was and I'm not wrong in my uh, uh, observations of this. This is a phenomenal perfume, and by the time I realize how beautiful this is, it's already gone. I don't know where. Uh, there are no stocks in the market. Just in case, uh, if you if if, ev- if any anyone from the viewers knows the guy who makes these perfumes, please tell him that I need a bottle of this. Please start restart making this fragrance. This is absolutely absolutely glorious. You see a lot of citrus fragrances try uh, to combine uh, those old citrusy elements. You know, you the same theme has been done over and over since since a century probably. The same thing has been going on. Uh, especially in the European perfume market, they have Italy has a lot of citrus elements, and uh, the people have a beautiful climate. So even citrus fragrances can last for a very very long time. So they use a lot of citrus citrus based fragrances. But this is something beautiful. It reminds me of this beautiful fragrance from the house of Gillette Mad, which is known as uh, Aqua Sexius. It was a very beautiful combination of citrus with mint, with eucalyptus, uh, very uplifting uh, sort of smell. But what they've done, they've taken the same uh, theme uh, and combined it with fruits. All right. So this is. So we are not talking about, you know, I'm not talking about fruits. Uh, the fruity accords that perfumers use uh, in perfumes like uh, Sospiro's Herba Pura, it's not like that. It's it doesn't doesn't have that uh, awkward bubblegummy smell. It has a bit of that bubblegum vibe though, fruity bubblegum vibe though. But it's it I don't know. There's something about it which is very cl- very very uh, well balanced. The citrus is balanced very well with those fruity sort of notes. It's sweet. Uh, it has this uh, musk melon sort of smell and the sweetness of strawberries. It reminds me of strawberry. Beautiful fragrance. This minty, you can actually feel the mint. It's it's actually giving the cooling sensation to my nose, to my nasal receptors. All right. So it's cooling my nasal mucosa. You know the inner lining of your nose, where the receptors are. So it's almost giving me the mentholic. Uh, the the texture, the feel of menthol to your nose. All right, there's a smell of menthol and there's the feel of menthol. All right, the coolness. It gives me the coolness. So there's something minty in this fragrance. There's something sweet, and you get a huge dose of citruses, some orange blossom. Very well balanced. Some florals, maybe white florals like jasmine. This is a glorious, glorious fragrance. Unisex, definitely unisex. Creed's Virgin Island Water, I think, is unisex. This is unisex. Amazing fragrance. Amazing fragrance. This is how a niche citrus fragrance should be. Serge of Neo, then Royal Crown Celebration. The perfume is known as Celebration. Search it on internet. You may get a bottle of it if you're lucky. Beautiful presentation as well. I would love to get a bottle of this someday beautiful and this stuff lasts all right don't worry about niche uh, it being niche of course it's going to be an expensive affair but this stuff lasts and the quality is, is there there is this is not the most natural uh, smelling fragrance out there like creed's virgin island water but this is awesome bloody awesome excellent great composition hats off all right the next fragrance from the royal uh, crown perfume range is known as rain this is how the decant and this is how the bottle looks like actually and this is my 10 ml decant let's spray it on this is supposed to be a clone of creed's green irish tweed but it's supposed to be stronger uh, and it's meant to last longer of course so i've sprayed it hmm definitely the green Irish tweed vibe, that uh, punchy 
green grassy effect which has this uh, pungent ammoniac ammoniacal odor odor in the background soapy very very soapy soapy ammoniacal or acidic and uh, you've got that fresh cut green sort of vibe this is not galbanum green but this is violet green yes violet violet is what comes to the mind synthetic violet accord used in perfumery a lot so green irish tweed it's it's like a lighter version of this i've used this fragrance before so i know how it dries down the the background or the dry down there's something in the background which is more serious uh when you compare it to stuff like uh green uh, creed's green irish tweed or the cheaper alternative david of school water there's there's a rumor that the same perfumer created it probably yes a lot of that stuff goes in the goes around in the industry you never know so if you love creed's green irish tweed please give this fragrance a chance because it's stronger uh it lasts way longer than any other uh representation of creed's green irish tweed and it's a sophisticated mature fragrance but a little soapy at the top and uh, because of that many people find creed's green irish tweed to be a little on the odd side of things but it's a good fragrance to have just wanted to talk about it because many others wouldn't know about it still all right some disappointments now this is from the house of maison francis kirkjan now maison the house of maison francis kirkjan francis kirkjan legendary perfume creator jean paul gautier's le mal was created by this person um he's he's created a lot of popular modernistic niche fragrances which are contemporary they are not uh, classical in style they are fresh invigorating they are classy ready to be worn to uh, high class events uh, he creates those sort of fragrances stuff like um aqua vitae forte aqua universalis aqua universalis forte mas uh, masculine pluriel stuff like that i love love his fragrances but this the soul of a natural perfume is missing from most of his perfumes most of his creations but as i said these are more modern contemporary anyone can anyone can wear these fragrances without having to worry about um reactions reactions uh, these fragrances these fragrances will uh, get you compliment stuff like bakra rouge uh, 540 so this fragrance is known as oud just oud there are a lot of versions of this uh, versions of this kashmir mood the satin mood all those fragrances are extremely popular on the internet and the online perfume community people love satin mood i guess uh, people just want to die for it i don't know what's the craze it is a very good fragrance though but it's thicker the cashmere goes the dirty way actual actually uh, trying to capture the 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 natural smell or the natural essence of burning agar wood or right, and it does a very fair job it's a very dark consuming fragrance for the most um for the most hardcore perfume lovers out there oud however he tried to give it a simple uh sort of backbone of oud this fragrance this fragrance had the, has that on the paper it smells a bit dirtier all right when you when i compare it to uh, the smell on my skin this is dirty or on paper but it's not as dirty on the skin most of these french perfumers work with paper now this could be an oversimplification of things please don't take at take this as the final uh, words but i think most of those guys work with paper and i always advise people to smell fragrances on their skin all right if you love this fragrance on paper please reapply on your skin that will give you the true measure of the fragrance all right so this fragrance has this typical dry woody uh, cedar cedar like metallic sort of uh, uh woody backbone it it's got that woody accord and it's almost ambery 
it's, it's, it's a slight nutty, ambery sort of thing. There's, there's a slight sweetness as well. I get the same oud accord in Fragrance Dubois, uh, Sahara Oud, which I love by the way. I don't love it as such anymore, but it's, it's much better and more complex than this. But this is 50% of that. So this is a 50% base. Now you mix some other 50% ingredients and you get Fragrance Dubois, um, Sahara Oud. This will not give you the true taste of oud, but this is something for people who are looking for something in between. Real agar wood, synthetic representation of agar wood to suit the needs of the common man, to suit the needs of uh, the conventional perfume lovers in uh, West. And uh, there's your natural agar wood and then there's midway. This, this is somewhere there. So this is not dirty. It almost shares that uh, same vibe with Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Now guys, if you focus on my words and if you imagine the smell, use your brain, imagine, reimagine those smells, imagine, reimagine those smells in your brain, I'm sure you can do that. If you think about your favorite pizza, you can, you can actually be able to smell that. That's a beautiful quality that uh, the human brain has. So you can imagine the smell of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, compare it to the smell of Fragrance Dubois Sahara Oud, just in case you've done that. And then think about that soft, ambery, sweet, slightly dirty, just slightly dirty, um, woody, cedar-like, dry, woody sort of bass accord. It's the same thing. A lot of Mansera fragrances use this same accord. A lot of Mansera fragrances use the same accord. Kamkat wood has, has an overdose of this, this ambery sort of woody thing. I think it's a cheap synthetic version of oud. This base that I'm talking about, which the perfumer has uh, used to a beautiful effect, but it's a linear fragrance. There's not going to be much development. If you love such uh, simple blends, you love it. Otherwise, just skip it. It's not worth your money. All right. Just not worth it. All right. Uh, now there, there is Roja's Enigma. This is the Cologne version. This is not the Perfa version. I'm loving this fragrance a lot. I just told you it smells like a crossover between Creed Aventus and Dior Sauvage. But the ingredients are much more 3D like here. There's life to this fragrance. There's quality. There's, there's this, there's this magic which only Roja Dove can achieve. Of course, with the use of the best synthetic perfume materials known to man available to man, pricey materials. That's why his perfume smell unique. And this one is a very unique smelling citrus fragrance, even though it reminds you of successful stuff like Dior Sauvage. It, it's highly reminiscent of Dior Sauvage. Please don't fool yourself just, just because you've paid money for the stuff. Don't fool yourself. This is very, very uh, olfactorily, olfactorily, I don't know if that's even a word. It, it's very, very same. They smell quite same. It's quite similar, not same, quite similar. So base notes, the effect of base, base notes, heart notes, probably a popular mo molecule among uh, perfume makers. It's got that. But guys, there are some fragrances which you, which you need to uh, have that do not have a lot of uh, thick, which necessarily uh, do not have to be uh, uh, natural smelling or overly complicated or uh, uh, things that keep you too busy in the fragrance itself. You need some fragrances which are light, which don't, which don't, uh, uh, you know, put you uh, in, in, a, in a thinking spot, which do not make you think about fragrances. These are simple fragrances, beautiful smelling fragrances, which you need to have for, uh, for, for going outside to meet your friends, to meet uh, uh, strangers, some new strangers to, to go on a date, to impress someone at, at, at a meeting, at a casual meeting or uh, I don't know, just as a beautiful fragrance to impress people around you. This is one of those fragrances and this will be the, the highest selling Roja fragrance ever. I, I tell you that. It's not uh, priced 
uh, too high it's somewhere in, in in the mid range most of the fragrances now cost about 150 dollars 200 us dollars basic citrus fragrances in the niche perfume world this one is definitely one of those fragrances and uh, it, it has this oriental sort of backbone i'll have to give roja points for that he's he's used the oriental backbone something like vanilla and, and, and there's something spice in in here he's used that to a great effect that's what i love about this man he's a thinker he thinks about creating fragrances he thinks about creating something new that's what i love in an artist his vision is different he just he just wanted to create a new version of dior savage probably because he has given a lot of years to um, the designer perfume industry uh, to, to the house of Gela. he knows how what people love what people like uh, so he knows he just i think he, he wouldn't have spent more than um, a day or two or a week to create this fragrance seriously guys because this fragrance is very simple it's extremely beautiful smelling and people give you compliments when you wear this fragrance so it's a rich man's fragrance who 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 does not come from the fraghead mentality he he just knows about roja dove he's read about this uh, this new perfume release in a magazine he just goes to the store buys it off because the bottle looks beautiful he knows that roja dove a uh, roja dove is a pop, roja parfum is a popular perfume brand a niche brand a luxury brand he just goes and buys this fragrance this not this may this this sort of behavior may not be in line with uh, you know with 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 me or with you with hardcore perfume lovers but i feel you need to have some of these fragrances when you don't want to think about fragrances just keep three or four such fragrances that you can wear outside without having to worry about a fragrance you need a simple fragrance you know that this is not a complicated affair just buy of this fragrance and enjoy it for what it is all right it's not going to um, uh, be inspiring but it's definitely going to impress a lot of people great fragrance roja roja parfum elysium this is the cologne version and it lasts for a very long time don't don't don't, don't worry about it, its performance it it causes olfactory fatigue i could smell this fragrance off me after 18 hours post application all right that's the performance on this thing and it's, it's beast it's just like creeds avantus it it can cheat you can trick you all right the last the, the, sorry the last fragrance of the day is an oud from the house of abdul samad al qureshi this is they have three bottle options this is the most expensive one because i just wanted to have this you know in my collection all right i wanted to uh, because the oil is so expensive and so precious i just wanted to have a thick glass outside a hand cut crystal glass to preserve it for future usage oud oil can last in bottles for centuries all right this is kalakasi 80 years old oud all right they don't have a label so i've just put a small um, you know label here with a marker i've just put the name so that i don't confuse it with the other kalakasis that i have 120 years and stuff like that so this 80 years kalakasi uh, it's a commercial perfume it's a commercial oud uh, but it smells great it smells really nice especially when it changes the the top notes are sweet sour almost like um, fermented over fermented citrus fruits something like grapefruit which has um, gone bad which has gone sour so it's one of those openings but it changes it changes with time to the sweet leathery incensey kalakasi agarwood type which is lovely just fantastic it's very expensive and uh, i i got it at a discount of 50 percent all right so it it's still expensive but still you know at least i was able to afford it i saved for it and i got it i'm not buying fake perfume since the last uh, six to eight months I, I i believe i only get these ouds sometimes samples or if companies give it to me for uh, review purposes that's all I haven't been buying fragrances. I have a lot of perfume houses in my mind, uh, and I might get a bottle of two or a bottle or two in the f in in the future. But as of now, I don't have, you know, a lot of perfumes in mind. So this perfume 
was reformulated in the year 2014 it has changed i have the older formulation as well from uh, this this perfume uh, company perfume perfume seller known as saint salim based in leeds i think they are in leeds uk they are at leeds uk united kingdom they have the older version of uh, abdul samad al qureshi's kalakasi 80 years old this this smells a bit different it does not have the annoying top notes the older version this has annoying top notes probably a f- fresher batch the company claims to use the same materials it could be the effect of aging as well probably that oud would have been hanging uh, around in that bottle for a very very long time and oud changes you know as it ages it becomes sweeter the top notes fade away this is a fresher batch maybe that's why it smells like this but come on guys it's it's labeled as 80 years so there's no possibility of this being fresh of course it has to be old stock which has been aging for so long anyway it's 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 a good oud oil to have and uh, from the commercial point of view i think it's a pre- pretty decent one so guys this is these are some of the perfumes or the fragrant materials that i wanted to talk about in today's video i know this is this this video is exceedingly long but i just wanted to talk with you i don't know why i just felt like i hadn't made a video you know where i feature myself like this talking to you i enjoy talking to you guys so i just decided to make this one randomly i hope you had fun on today's episode see you again next sunday with uh, another fragrance review or a fragrance uh, video a different sort until then take care bye bye